Good morning, Facebookers and lookers. It's Jen again on this Saturday morning. I think today is June 11th. Coming at you with our 30 days of deliberate acts of kindness challenge. Um, today, our deliberate acts of kindness is going to be a little difficult for some. Um, might be difficult for most and not so difficult for others. Um, today, we are going to do a deliberate act of kindness for someone we may have offended. Not someone we don't like, but someone we may have said something out of pocket to, something kind of smart or hurt their feelings. Um, and not so much that you're sucking up to anybody, but you really want to make it right. You know, you haven't apologized for it, but you know that, you know what, I said something and it hurt, hurt that person's, his or her feelings. Um, it could be a mother, a father, sister, brother, child. Um, if you've if you've wronged somebody with your mouth, today's the day to make it right. Um, Proverbs fifteen and one uh, states that a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh ter word stirs up anger. And what that basically is saying is that we may not have the intention to hurt anyone's feelings, but sometimes just being smart mouthy or quick at the mouth can really hurt someone's feelings or actually put a very bad taste in their mouth. It's happened to me and I know that I've done it in the past. So today that's who we're going to bless today. And we're just simply going to bless them with a phone call and speak encouraging words into their life and make it right. Apologize for your part in whatever that situation is. Don't let it fester. Um, I'm working again today. Yep, see, back in the scrubs again. It'll be another long night. This is what I do. However, um, let's go ahead and get our prayer going, and you guys get on with your day, and I'll do what I do best. All righty, work. Um, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you this morning just to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to see yet another day and another opportunity to get it right. Lord, you are amazing, and I thank you for clothing me in my right mind. Thank you for my job, even though I work a lot of hours. Lord, I thank you for the strength to get through these work days and to provide for my children. Lord, you are an amazing God, and I thank you so much for salvation and your gracious gift of compassion that you sent to the world in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. I thank you that he willingly laid down his life and picked it back up three days later, Father God. Lord, I ask that you forgive me and my friends for any unrighteousness in our lives, Father God. Anything we have done that is not pleasing in your sight, Lord, please forgive us for that, Lord God. Remove any desire that may be within us that is not pleasing in your sight. Lord, let us go ahead and be a blessing so that someone else may see you through our lives, Father God. Let us not be just mere hearers of the word, but also doers. Lord, I ask that you bless the men and women of your house, you know, our pastors, preachers, ministers, evangelists, Father God, just place a special covering over them, Father God. Lord, over these children that we all have, Lord, I just ask that you be with them as they go throughout their day. Keep them safe this summer um, and every day, Lord. Give them activities um, that are productive for them to go ahead and get through and keep themselves busy and not into trouble, Lord. Lord, I just ask that you continue to watch over us. Give us peace, grace, mercy, and joy. We thank you for all that you've done, for all that you will do. For you truly are an amazing God. We love you. We thank you. We lift up your name. In your precious and holy son, Jesus' name, we pray, ask these and all blessings. Amen. You guys have a great day. I'm going to do my studies and take care of my patient. Talk to you tomorrow for day 10. Bye-bye.